Hello everybody, my name is Brandon. Welcome back to the channel. I am here today with my July 2020 TBR and TBW. So these are all of the books that I hope to read and all the movies I plan to watch in the month of July. So July is a special month for me because it is my birthday month. So I actually, I have a day off for the 4th of July early in the month and then a couple days off at the end of the month around my birthday. So uh, I'm hoping to, I'm hoping to take advantage of those days as much as possible. And I've also stacked my TBR, specifically my TBR, with some items that I've really Really wanting to read for for quite some time so i'm really excited about this month's tbr and my tbw is extra special because it was actually chosen by twitter unbeknownst to the people that replied to my tweet so we'll talk about that once we jump into the second half of this video which will be the tbw section everything i hope to watch so with all of that said let's dive right in so the first couple things I want to talk about on my uh, to be read pile for July are just more sequels to things I've been reading. So first up is going to be Animorphs book number four, as you can see on the spine there. And this is The Message. So you can see we have we're going to be following Cassie, who apparently is going to turn into a dolphin. I don't know if you guys can see that or not, but there's the dolphin. And there's Cassie. So uh, this is the fourth book in the Animor series. And we have our fourth narrator, this time being Cassie. So this should be really exciting. Cassie, of course, is the animal expert of the group. And so the group turns to her a lot when they're trying to figure out, you know, what they need to do in these morphs that they're doing. So I am really enjoying this series. I do have my review series going of this. So if you want to hear my thoughts on uh, right now, the first two books are up. So check those out. I will have a review of book number three, which I am very close to finishing here as we wrap up the month of June. But I will definitely be done by the end of the month. So Animorphs book number four, The Message by K.A. Applegate is the first book on my July TBR. The second book in my TBR is actually going to be the third book of the Star Wars original trilogy. We have Star Wars Re uh, Return of the Jedi, and this is written by James Caan. So this would be episode six of the Star Wars film. So I've read uh, A New Hope. I read Splinter of the Mind's Eye, which was the sequel that could have been for Star Wars, which I talk about that in my review, which will be up very shortly. And then uh, I finally read Empire Strikes Back last month. I just finished this month because I'm still in June. I just finished it up a couple days ago. So next up is Return of the Jedi. Do I really need to read this one? Probably not, but I want to complete the original trilogy because my next step, I believe... Don't quote me on this, but I think in my August TBR, you'll likely see the beginning of the Thrawn trilogy, which is kind of the novels that started it all, at least is how I understand them now, with uh, continuing on to the story of our main characters here. So really excited to get to this one. It's another one that's relatively short, and this one actually has some pictures in the middle of it, which the other ones didn't. So that's fun. Not the best condition book, but yeah. So Star Wars Return of the Jedi. I will wrap up the original trilogy and I'm really excited to get to this one. Okay, so on to some new things. And this is one of those items that I was talking about has been one I've wanted to read for such a long time. This is I Am Legend written by Richard Matheson. So you can see this is the uh, the movie version of it because obviously it has Will Smith on the cover there, who was in the excellent film. This film is honestly, I mean, it's it's one of my favorites. Like, I love this movie. I, I just, I think it's so well done. Um, this, the only thing with this one is the CGI. It's like one year, maybe two years too early to hold up today. Uh, I think if it, this movie came out a year or two after it did, the CGI would look so much better and it would hold up a lot better. But regardless of the CGI, I think this movie is excellent. I love Will Smith, obviously. Uh, I just, I really enjoy this movie. So I really have wanted to read this book for quite a while. Um, I actually started listening to this um, audiobook years ago before I really understood, you know, anything about audiobooks. And uh, my wife and I were listening to it on one of our car rides from, uh, from university up here uh, back home. And uh, so we, you know, we listened to maybe, I don't know, a few hours of it and I just never went back to it. So this is one I will, I might read in physical form. It depends on how quickly I get through Return of the Jedi, but I do have access to this on audiobook. So if I don't get to it here, I will do the audiobook. But uh, this one, so you can see it's a big thick novel, but this is actually I Am Legend and other stories. And so I Am Legend is only like 159 pages. So it is a short novel, which 
God bless it. I always enjoy those. So, all right. So I Am Legend by Richard Matheson is my third book for my July TBR. Next up is the start of a series that I hope to eventually finish, uh, but this is The Hobbit by J.R.R. Tolkien. So it may come as a surprise to you that I've never seen this movie. I've never even watched the Lord of the Rings trilogy, which I know is ridiculous. I own it twice back here. I own the extended editions and I own the uh, theatrical cuts on on separate Blu-rays, which I, I don't know why, but I do. Actually, I do know why, because the extended cuts came in this really cool box set. So, of course, I had to have it. And then on uh, Black Friday one year, the uh, theatrical cuts were on sale for like three dollars each or something on blu-ray from from walmart or somewhere so i picked them up because it was super cheap um but anyway that tangent aside uh never seen the movies so i will go into these first with the books and see how i enjoy them assuming i like this even just a little bit i will move on to lord of the rings you know i hear this is very old style fantasy obviously given its age um but and if you can get past that then there's something really to enjoy here so i'm hoping that I, I'm hoping that the writing style jives with me so that I can then move on to the Lord of the Rings trilogy, which is really what I want to read. But I feel like I need to read this first because, you know, it's the prequel. It came out before, though. So The Hobbit by J.R.R. Tolkien. And I should state I have this one in physical form. This is one that I do own on Audible. So I will for sure be listening to this on audiobook in the month of July. Normally in my TBR videos, I have, you know, usually a couple three middle grade books. I have, you know, an audio book. I have an adult novel that I uh, plan to read in physical form. And then I have a couple graphic novels. This month, though, I only have one graphic novel. And this is book number five. And this is going to wrap up my TBR for July because this is a big honking one. And frankly, it's probably one that will extend into August. It just depends on how hooked I get on it. So we're going to do it, guys. We are finally, finally, going to dive into Alan Moore's Watchmen. So, you know, I've seen this movie. I saw it on uh, like the midnight release when it came out because I was working at GameStop and they were, uh, all my coworkers were big fans of the graphic novel. So they really wanted to check it out. And of course, you know, I, I love action, you know, superhero movies. Why not? Uh, so I went to go see it. I really enjoyed it. I don't know anything about the, you know, original, the source material at all. So that's probably why I enjoyed it. Because if you hear people talk about the movie, you know, generally speaking, it's not very well loved. So I was in the minority there, but we'll see if maybe after reading this, I watch it again if I don't enjoy it. But this is a big one. This is really a long graphic novel. I think it's only like 12 chapters, uh, 12 issues, but it has these really long pages in the middle of that looks like just like a book. And they're very big pages, so these will take me a while. So this one could go into August, and that's okay. But we are going to do it. We are finally going to dive into the uh, one of Time Magazine's best 100 novels, or 100 best novels. We're going to dive into Watchmen. So buckle up, July. Here we come. That was really stupid. I don't know why. I don't. I don't know why I said that. But here we are. All right, so now that my TBR is out of the way, let's move over to my TBW. On Twitter a couple weeks back, I posted a tweet that said, hey, give me two numbers, a random number between 1 and 19 and a random number between 1 and it was like 60 or, or somewhere around there. I don't remember exactly. And so I got some replies on that and they didn't know it, but they were actually in reference to my movie shelves behind me. They are set up in a way now that I could do this where I couldn't before. Uh, so... I decided to post that tweet, hoping I would get some replies because sometimes it's hit and miss. That's just how life goes. Fortunately, I got I got some replies. And so thank you to Chris. Thank you to Chuck. And thank you to Courtney for deciding my July TBW. So let's cut to the footage of me discovering what movies they picked for me. Just so we understand how we're numbering this, this is going to be 1 through 6, this is going to be 7 through 13, and then finally 14 through 19. So the only kind of odd shelf here is number seven because that's TV. So that would be a long one. But let's look at the numbers that we have drawn. So first up, we have a one from Chuck. And this is going to be shelf 12, item 47. So we have one through six. So we have seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. So it's going to be on this shelf here. And uh, we need item 47. So we're going to count through as quickly as we can. 45 46 and 47 all right so this is one i have not seen yet 
This is Ty West's, I believe. Yeah, the innkeepers. Next up is 1337. So we know that's 12. So this bottom one here will be 13 and 37. So we got 4, 35, 36. All right. So we have the last unicorn, which is one. I bought this used, I think, from Disc Replay a couple of years ago just because I've heard really good things about it and it was really cheap. Um, I've not seen it. So this is an animated film. So this would be significantly different than The Innkeeper. So we have The Innkeepers and Last Unicorn. I, I don't think I mentioned, this one was uh, the numbers chosen by Chris. So thank you, Chris. So this time around, Courtney chose five and 13. So that's gonna be this shelf, which has six shelves. So it's gonna be the second to last one. And then in the dark down here, hopefully you guys can still see. 12 and 13, all right. This is another one I have not seen. So we have Manhunter, Michael Mann's Manhunter. And this, I believe, is like the prequel to Silence of the Lambs. And I've never seen it. All right, another huge thank you to Chuck, Courtney, and Chris. I really appreciate you guys helping me out and picking my July TBW. Even though, of course, you didn't know what you were doing. I, I appreciate you giving me some numbers. So the three movies they picked were The Innkeepers, which I really enjoyed The Sacrament. And I really enjoyed House of the Devil. So I imagine I'm going to like The Innkeepers. And then we have The Last Unicorn, which has Jeff Bridges, Mia Farrow, and Angela Lansbury. A little Murder, She Wrote love in there. So that should be a lot of fun. And then Manhunter, the Michael Mann film. So this is a prequel to a movie that I love. So I'm sure this will be pretty enjoyable as well. So... Three movies that could not be any different from one another. So thank you guys again. I really appreciate it. Aside from those three, I did want to add one more movie to my pile for the month of July. And this is one that I've been wanting to watch for quite a while. I picked up the 4K disc on Black Friday last year for very little money. And it's kind of been eyeing me ever since. This is Us by Jordan Peele. So I really, really loved Get Out. I think that was a fantastic movie. And this one looks even better. So I am so excited to finally dive into this one and see how I enjoy it. So we're going to put this one on there as well. So us from Jordan Peele, we'll see how I like it. All right. So there it is, my TBR and TBW for July. So this is a really cool month just because I have a couple things in here that I've really been wanting to get to, and I'm finally, you know, dedicating myself to doing that this month. So not only is it my, my birthday month, but it is going to be an action packed, hopefully classic filled, hopefully five star filled month of July. So I'm really excited to dive into these once I have the opportunity. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Please let me know down in the comments below. What are you planning to watch? What are you planning to read, listen to, whatever? What are you planning to do in the month of July? I'd love to have more of a conversation with you guys down in the comments below. As always, if you guys enjoyed this video, please consider subscribing to Cinefessions here on YouTube. And if not, thank you anyway for watching. I really do appreciate it. All right, guys. So that's going to do it for today. I just want to say thank you all so much for watching and I'll catch you next time. <laughs>